Hi guys, as promised, today I'm going to show you how I make my fog pony station. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Today is the day that I'm going to be doing or making a fog pony station for you to follow. So let's start with our bucket. So your bucket could be like this one or any bucket of your, of your choice. But I recommend this kind of bucket with a dark color. Why I recommend dark color buckets is for the sunlight not to get through it so the algae won't won't grow inside your your bucket so your water stays clear and your plants taste healthy next would be to decide how big would be our holes and this is where um, we insert the plants so the holes would vary depending on your net cups that we have that you have you could it could be like this one like this small like two inch or it could be this big and also guys, I want to highlight that we've tried using colors before, but it was not successful because especially when it's hot. When it gets hot, the color tends to get super hot. So the stem, it will like eat up the stem of your plant so it will just wilt. If you already bought a color, then I'm going to show you today also an alternative so that this won't be put to waste. So let's start so let's get our drill and let's start drilling holes bucket guys I drilled 15 holes on it and now just clean this the top of our bucket looks better now and we're almost ready to put the plants when we started trying the fog ponix style of gardening we use collars and so what we did we the seedlings we just insert the seedlings here and then just stick it here on the holes but then we noticed that once the seedlings were exposed to the sun the colors start to heat up and the heat somewhat just eat up the stem of the of the plants so we started uh not using the colors this project guys since i ran out of net cups that would be enough for this 15 hole bucket i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna recreate this color into something that would hold my rock pool are my plants ready for transplanting and let's sample one as you can see so i planted it on a rock wool and when i insert it here um the hole is too big for it so i'm gonna try to adjust the colors just to hold the rock wool in place on top of this hole so that it can grow pretty happy thinking of um making a pattern here that would somehow fit the rock wool so i'll just use this knife <music> Hmm. 
since the ruffle is a little bit big so I'll try to remove some of it anyway guys don't worry the plants will be fine because this is hydro I mean this is fog ponix so the the plants will feed from the vaporized water for the nutrients that they need transferred on the bucket but take note guys the bucket has no water yet so we still have to fill that bucket with water and put some nutrients on it so that's what we're gonna do but before we put the water guys let's drill a hole where I will insert the wire of our mister So after drilling the hole for the mister guys, I added the water on the bucket and then I added nutrients on it. This one. And then after, I checked the level of nutrients. So I used a TDS meter. And after that, I put the mister on it. So I'll show you how it looks right now. So that's how our bucket looks like right now guys. After we put water and the mister on it and the last step would be putting our plants back on top of this bucket. So let's do it. it guys our new addition to our fog ponic stations here look closely at the plants and I'll update you after a week that's it guys that's how you make your fog ponic station if you like what you saw Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share this video to your friends. And as always, this is Arlene again saying have a great day ahead of you. Bye-bye.